Another important uh, piece of von Neumann's architecture are the buses. The buses here, they are represented here, they are, they are used for transferring information from the CPU and for the external uh, components of the, of the computer. In that case, the, mem the main memory here and the input-output devices. Input-output uh, will be something like a keyboard, a printer, a, a, a computer screen, something like that. There are three buses, the control bus, uh, it seems to, to control uh, how to access the memory or, or the different devices. The address bus, used mainly for main memory or for, uh, for some devices, it tells which part of the memory needs to read. And the data bus is here is where the real information is transferred from the memory to the, to the CPU. So those are the buses. Uh, but there is an, an important uh, drawback from von Neumann's architecture, architecture uh, that it's called the von Neumann's bottleneck. And what's that? Remember that the program is here, it's in the memory. We have, for example, instruction one, instruction two, and instruction three. So imagine we have the instruction one here, the CPU uh, has, read it, has read the, the first instruction, it has executed it, it has finished, it needs to, to, to continue executing instructions. So it needs to access memory, ask for the second uh, instruction, and the instruction must be transferred to the CPU before, before the CPU can continue, uh, uh, can, can continue ex executing the program. Okay, and once the second instruction has finished, then it will need to pick the third instruction and, and so on. So, if the CPU, uh, uh, until the CPU has the next instruction, it, it, it is waiting, uh, it, it can't do anything. So, if the CPU is, is quicker than the main memory, you can, you can be in a situation when the CPU could be executing something, but it has not being transferred the next instruction from the memory. So this is if this is slow and this is quick, then you have a problem because you have here the bottleneck. The bottleneck is that you can transfer enough information for the CPU to, to keep working. So this is an, another important part of, of what Newman's architecture and its main drawback. Uh, the, um, a lot of strategies uh, have been developed to to compensate it just for using, for example, cache memory here. So you you preload some information here, and this is much quicker than, than my memory. And you have different levels of cache. We will see something about that later. So uh, this this is the the, the basis. Was the, the what the buses uh, do in in, in Bonumas architecture, and one of the drawback is the, the the difference of speed between my memory and CPU.